Welcome back to the show, everybody. We got a great one for you this morning. Let's talk about all the price action that's happened overnight. XRP peaked out at 73 cents and now back down in the 40 cent range. Let's talk about what happened. Let's roll that beautiful intro. This is Digital Perspectives with Brad Kimes. Subscribe for new content notifications. Now, here's Brad Kimes. Come on in. Welcome back to the show, everybody. You can follow me on Twitter at Backup Bradley Above at the top of the screen and everything that we're talking about here today. Let's go ahead and get into this. Right now, Bitcoin is at 33,796 and we are looking at Ethereum at 13,026. I'm sorry, 1,326 <laughs> and XRP back at the number four spot uh, at 44 cents this morning. Now we are up 57% plus on the uh, seven day currently right now overnight however we peaked at 73 cents i saw when i woke up this morning and what a sight it was at 73.44 according to fiat links right here and i have to tell you it was quite interesting because i want to play you because i think we all know that there was an intention to have a huge event today from everyone organizing and this is what it looked like at the minute of 8.30 when that was supposed to happen. Let's take a look at this. Very interesting. It's 8.30, XRP's 57 cents, and the map on Fiat Links went absolutely flat. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, there you have it. And that is very interesting because before that, Fiat Links was absolutely going ballistic. And I thought to myself, wow, that is pretty remarkable. What in the world's going on there? In fact, I have a, let's see if I can find it right here. This is interesting to me. When Fiat Links was at 60 cents this morning, let's go ahead and get into this. I noticed that you'll see a lot of Kraken and then uh, Kraken again. There was 472 XRP coming into Kraken, 999.999 going out of Kraken. And interestingly enough, looking down here, a very, very small amount here shows in Kraken coming in. And then again, down here is an example, 8.7 from Binance, and it says UK crack in here and it's interesting because i saw some binance with u.s flags as well at times and i was under the impression that if they were on those platforms they couldn't trade now i'm going to ask this question if you know the answer help me out because this is not one of those i know and i want to see if you know things i don't know but i was under the impression that you weren't allowed to uh, trade buy sell or what have you you could hold your crypto on crack and still just like coinbase but I was under the impression that you couldn't trade. And this looks like a trade through Kraken. Now, I don't know. Maybe it's a maybe it's the fact that it's not U.S. in, in Kraken like this is. But this says U.S. Kraken right here. This is obviously a different re a country using the Kraken platform, it seems. So I get that purchase. But here where the U.S. flag is, I don't get it. I don't understand it. So maybe somebody could help shed light on that because I don't understand what that actually means. But let's go ahead and get back at it because it's 45 cents right now. And because we went to 73 cents hours before the so-called pump was to happen, which you guys know I've been completely vocal about, I did not condone. And if you took part in it, you are very, very upside down right now if you jumped in early, right? So this is a this is one of the dangers of these kinds of things. And I have to say that obviously none of what we talk about here is financial advice. It's for educational purposes only, right? And I'm just sharing my perspectives here on this. And looking at the uh, information, I have to say, we know that the interest in social media is at its highest since September 2018 for XRP account activations. 7,618 counts were created yesterday on January 30th, uh, are also at levels uh, last seen during the Flare Network's airdrop. Now, I happen to believe any good news could have come from the response from Ripple. Certainly could see a, you know, a confidence uh, coming back to the asset and people believing in that and moving back into that position. But we have to remember that U.S. residents broadly 
have a hard time getting it. I mean, unless you're on uphold or you trade into it from some exchange like BitTru, you know, uh, you're going to have a tough time getting it if you're a U.S. resident. Again, reminder, Coinbase shut down XRP to all regions. So that's why you don't see it at all on fiat links in the XRP category. So Gene Simmons says this is not uh, financial advice or recommending anything. But yes, he did buy Dogecoin, XRP, and others. Make of it what you will. Well, Gene Simmons is a billionaire entrepreneur. He is no dummy. That is, by, that is for damn sure. This guy knows something and he doesn't want to miss it. I find that to be very interesting. San Francisco-based firm fin, fin, uh, fintech firm Ripple has responded to the Securities Exchange Commission. In this particular article from Finbold, they credit the surge in price of over 100% to XRP uh, of XRP from the response of Ripple to the SEC. So you make of that what you will. We're going to look at something here. Here's where I showed you the, the actual flat trading that went exactly at 8.30. And like I said, right now, and if you look here, it's 830 XRP's 57 cents and the map on Fiat links went absolutely flat. Now, that looks like to me that when we were at 73 cents just moments before that moment, which means if you participated, you are now upside down in your trade, right? Now, let's go to this because I covered this the other day on the 29th when it came out. Shout out to you, my friend. Leaf, SPQR Media, had an amazing thought, and I had had the same thought and conversations with Big Skinny and DAI and a couple other people I had talked to, and we were in the same alignment. I'm not going to say it any different than he wrote it here because I believe he said it just about as succinctly as anybody could. Okay, I've been thinking about WSB, and I'm suspicious. Come on. We all know retail don't move markets. Now to the theory, is this to usher in a global decentralized exchange that you cannot halt trading on or sell more stocks than the actual stock supply? And I had responded to that. Yep, it is at my house. Hashtag nailed it. And shout out to you, Lee. It is really, really great insight. And you've always been that. And he shared an article a little later after that or it was shared by CFD, who uh, had that in that thread. And I'm going to read to you just a bit here about the GameStop issue that could be taking place in other places too. But I don't believe that WSB moved that needle in the GameStop situation as they think they did. What I think they did is this. We're dismissing what happened to the put that JP Morgan held on 19,300 shares of GameStop for this reason. JP Morgan, Chase, just happens to be one of Melvin Capital's prime brokers, the hedge fund making news because it was bleeding badly from its short position in GameStop. Melvin Capital's other prime brokers include Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, National Financial Services, according to Melvin Capital's form ADV filing with the SEC. A prime broker typically provides hedge funds with one or more of the following services. Trade financing, securities lending, so hedge funds can take short positions, trade executions, and serving as a custodian of securities. Keep listening. J.P. Morgan is not just a prime broker to Melvin Capital. It services a large number of other hedge funds. That gives J.P. Morgan the ability to see which way trades are moving. One can assume that when J.P. Morgan saw its hedge fund clients closing out their short positions on GameStop in a panic, it exited its own put position before yesterday at the time. It may have even purchased more shares of GameStop as it saw the run-up in share price occurring and had an insider's view of exactly how short its own hedge fund customers were and how much more stock they had to buy to fully close out their positions. I personally believe this is probably more than likely how the needle got moved at GameStop. There are a lot of problems with this narrative. Right. The mainstream media narrative is a bunch of amateur traders on Reddit message board. Wall Street bets wanted to take down the evil hedge funds like Melvin Capital that were shorting the stock of GameStop, making bets it would decline in price. So the egalitarian activists set out to pump up the stock. 
Again, there's a lot of problems with this narrative. Listen very carefully, please. For starters, the trading platform that a lot of traders at Wall Street Bets use is called Robinhood, a private company whose investors include private equity firms and, wait for it, hedge funds. Like Belvin Capital. <laughs> Robinhood provides commission free trading to Wall Street Bets crowd, but then sells those trades, wait for it, to hedge funds. So just as JP Morgan games market advantage by seeing what is the hedge fund customers are doing, these hedge fund gains gain the hedge funds gain market advantage by seeing what Robin Hood's customers are doing. It's not a big leap to question if hedge funds might have inter invented Robin Hood in order to trade against what they call dumb money, which is you and me. Now, again, you don't have to believe it. That's for sure. But what I can tell you is, is I have been stacking my pennies next to their dollars. That's what I've been doing. It's not financial advice. None of this is. But that's what I've been doing. And I still see the largest accounts in XRP still growing. And that's the measure I'm using because right now, if you had participated in this stuff that, that everybody's been trying to make happen, which I am not a part of and do not condone at all, you're sitting at 45 cents. And if you bought a few hours ago, you're sitting at 73, you're upside down by about 30 cents. You know, the other side of this is, too, is to think of this for a moment. If you, in fact, believe retail can move price in this way, you're really not understanding what XRP is. It's not a stock. It gets its true value because it has utility. Right? So if you did participate in this, all you really did was run the price up against yourself. And when they're done pumping this price, the price will crash back down to the floor. And why would that be? Because you didn't bring any utility to it. You just bet on it. You know, Big Skinny says for all of you out there that are digging fishing lures out of your gums right now, he's praying for you. That's going to do it for me. Hit the like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Make sure you share with somebody you know. And make sure you hit, hit the uh, uh, description box in the comment section for any products or services that you may want or need. There are really great products and services that I use each and every day, and they are trusted, vetted links. I'll catch all of you on the next one.